Alrighty guys, so we are in Monroe picking up a Chrysler minivan, I think it is, and uh, taking it to West Walk for a brake issue. So we're just on the other side of the church here and we'll be there. Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Lynn. Howdy. Howdy. And that's my husband, Chris. Boy, you made it all up really fast. Yeah, well, we give it a shot. Yeah. Uh -huh. so. You've been here before, haven't you? I don't believe so. No. Oh, you look familiar. Yeah. It's got one of those familiar faces. God made yeah. a lot of copies. <laughs> I've been doing this a long time, so there's a chance you guys have yeah. had me tow something for you in the past, but I don't think I've ever been here by the church, so. All right, so they said just a brake issue? It's nothing. Uh, we think so. Um, it was uh, we were getting that um, real vib vibrating when we came up to like 40, 40 miles per hour. Okay. It, it was intermittent. Sometimes it just drives just fine, and all of a sudden it started doing this. Okay. And, and then when, when we got home yesterday from from Eugene, the front right wheel was smoking. Okay. Might have a caliper stuck. And, yep. Yeah. And the other thing I noticed too. Yesterday was I was driving, and um, you know how usually on an automatic, right when you put it into drive, mm -hmm. it, it it wants it, to go forward. Yeah. Well, it was it, it didn't have any. It um, felt like it was resistant. Okay. To something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 All right. So you just need the keys, and Les Schwab knows it's coming. Yep. Yes, they do. Okay. Sean, okay. Sean, uh, was, I was just gonna take one quick. Sure. It's, it's unlocked. Oh, okay. We do the same thing at our house. If not, Les Schwab doesn't have gates, so there's something you figure out. Oh, well, I need that after all. And no, please don't. Everybody, people think that, but okay. the problem is we put it in a neutral. If it's it's actually pointed downhill, so it's going to roll into my truck if you oh, put it in a neutral. Right. Or if I back up to it and it sits still and it's downhill a little bit, I can push it off my truck. And got it. Right. So okay. it's you know your job. All right. Cute little trash cans. Oh yeah, those things are those those things are like fifty bucks a piece. Wow. They're expensive little things. Yeah. Um, those are, uh, uh, one's a trash and one's a, uh, uh absorbent material wow. for, like, oil and stuff. Yeah. And are you family with, with Mark and Jill? Or? I might as well be. Okay. I mean, I live in their house, so, wow. basically. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Right. I've been working with them since 2016, and so it's, it's, uh, you. no, you're very welcome. All right. So, you guys take care. Have a good day. Yeah, So I've talked about the the surprise and the game changer and all that stuff that's been that I've talked about. Well, I'm not sure when it's going to get here. Um, we were told, well, we're supposed to get it this week. 
and so far nothing so I don't know what's going on with it um, the people that we're dealing with uh, a few different organizations that we're dealing with and most of them have been extremely helpful and answer questions immediately and then we've got this one company that just it's like they don't actually exist so I don't know so I'm hoping that you know because I put in an announcement thing that you know I'll have a video up Friday that will actually show what's happening and but I don't know if that's gonna happen so I'm hoping it does um, but we'll see anyway let's get this thing hooked up and out of here I could have gone back a little bit further I probably will still have to back up yep in a little bit it is 84 degrees right now I'm kind of a older fat guy it's not used to the uh, human it's not used to the heat This truck is starting to show her age a little bit. It's got over 300,000 on it. And wheel lift's bent. It's got an oil leak. That still will not stop doing that. You know, I mean, it's just little stuff. I mean, stuff that, you know, a, a vehicle with 300,000 miles on it is likely to have. So, nothing bad about the truck. I like the truck. But she's going to have to get shut down here for a month or two and get some repairs done so I was watching it's a magnet that's interesting I was watching uh, Toman 127 I believe he is um, and he was talking about straps like this that he was buying at Harbor Freight and believe me there's nothing wrong with Harbor Freight stuff our Jack's Harbor Freight we bought a lot of stuff from there um, but we got these from from Zips they're rated for 3330 pounds each and they're magnetic so when you put them under put them across the car They'll magnet up. I'll show you here. They'll magnet up. It makes it kind of easier to hook to. Still need two hands because you got to have the hook. So, but it works for us. I mean, the other ones, we've had both. I like these, but either one works just fine. And part of the, the issue with the using the hooks is not only do you have to kind of get them, you know, through and stuff like that, but they can get caught on um, parts of the car. 
wiring, um, brake lines, uh, you know, just pieces of metal and get stuck in there and then you got to try to figure out how to get it out. And it's not, it's not always that easy. I've had them st stuck pretty good before where I had to end up calling for help to, uh, you know, to move the wheel lift and the chain and pry stuff loose and stuff all at the same time, so. But with these closed loops, there's barely anything that you could get stuck on or grab a hold of and more than likely if it's something you can grab a hold of with this you're not hurting anything with it it's probably a bolt or you know something like that so If you haven't checked out uh, Toman 127 and uh, Tow Truck Underscore Dustin, those are two of the few guys that I watch, the main guys that I watch. Um, then, of course, Ron Pratt. If you're into, into anything to do with towing, you know who Ron Pratt is. not to boast about him or anything but he's one of the the towing gurus if you need a question answered or need some advice or something like that of course he's a busy guy so but he's answered me when I've asked questions he keeps some really weird hours I see him online at all sorts of hours but so yep, Ron Pratt, uh, Toman 127, and Tow Truck underscore Dustin. Um, Dustin has taught me quite a bit about uh, different techniques with the flatbed and stuff. So good guys, to take a look at. Uh, Follow them, subscribe to them. All right, so we are on our way to Les Schwab in Junction City. And we will catch back up with you guys when I get there. Hope you're enjoying the sun if you've got it. And for us, well, <laughs> we went from a very late winter pretty much directly right into summer it was 94 yesterday said it might be that today and then we kind of cool down into the mid to upper 80s and few more days uh, i think towards the end of next week i think it was all the way back down into the 70s our uh Our average high temperature for this time of year is in the upper 60s, I think. And we may get some uh, pretty good thunderstorms. I don't know if you guys can see that over there. We don't get a whole lot of thunderstorms over here, which is, for me, very disappointing. Um, I really like thunderstorms. Uh, I was stationed in Oklahoma for a while, and yeah, they got some good thunderstorms. So, anyway, it's going to get loud here soon, so I am going to sign off, and I will catch you guys when we get to Les Schwab. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you would, please like, subscribe, share. Uh, it really helps us out. I appreciate everybody. Um, people who comment, I do my best to comment back uh, as soon as I can. 
so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey right, guys, so we are here at my Schwab. This one runs and drives. Do you want it in a specific spot or? It does run and drive? Yeah, just a brake issue. It's okay. just got a brake locked up that's um, smoking a little bit. Ow. Is this the easiest spot for you? That works. Yeah. Cool, thank you. get this pause when I get out of the truck and I gotta put my gloves on it looks awkward in the, the videos get here get out get to the back of the truck and like nothing <laughs> somebody uh, took out a curb looks like
Alright guys. If I ever get my microphones, you guys won't hear that anymore. Might see the camera move, but it won't be the loud noise. I was talking to the guy at Toman 127, and I don't know if he can see. Let's see, there's a, a bearing in there, and then there's this indent. And so it wants to, you can hear that where it pops in place, but yeah. All right, so, well kind of move out of the way here and uh, we'll go in and take them the keys and we'll be on to the next one I hope you guys are having a great day thank you for uh, for watching and subscribing commenting we're getting close 750 subscribers so far Need another 250 and we'll get my thousand and I just want the company to be able to kind of or the YouTube page to kind of be able to take care of itself so I will talk to you guys on the next one have a great day